sneaker hoarders if you like the content hit the like button subscribe to the page the nike air trainer one high debuted in 1987 with a price tag of a hundred dollars the trainers were designed out of necessity to have one shoe for all physical activities the trainers were designed with more heel lift than a basketball shoe but less lift than a running shoe giving a great diversity and a wide range of uses known as a drack of all trade type of shoe the trainers came with a trademark strap that goes across the top of the shoe, providing a more secure feel while being worn. The trainers worked a new category of shoes known as cross trainers that dominated prime retail space alongside basketball and Air Max sneakers in the 90s. Tennis greats John McEnroe and Andre Agassi gave notoriety to the Nike trainers by playing tennis on the pro level in the trainers. Pro athlete Bo Jackson also made the trainers popular with his Bo Nose campaign while playing baseball and football at the same time. The skateboard community adopted the Air Trainers due to its lack of skateboarding shoes at the time. Some of the most notable collaborations were with the SB division of Nike, which helped keep the silhouette alive and relevant. The trainers have been retro numerous times with various styles and colorways, with the Gold Diggers, Day of the Dead, and the Cactus Jacks being some of the most notable. According to the designer, the original design comes from the colors in the weight room at the YMCA in Portland, Oregon. The trainers have remained at the top of their game and respected for over 30 years with very little competition in this field. Sneaker hoarders.